there are fantastic, beautiful connections by chance. And so we don't need to worry about that. Because you are 11, it will always happen. So you don't have to worry too much about making, uh, you know, things happen together. It's just great when you interact, though. And you interact in space around each other. The whole room starts to shift and move in different directions, all at the same tempo. I'm in a process now where I'm trying uh, uh, each time when I approach the creative process to find a way in which to involve improvisation. And so that's the challenge for me each time is how to introduce and to direct and to form enough direction of the improvisation without killing it. It's about using the, the, all of the materials in the room and it's also about using all the materials from each other as well. Yeah? The dancers are here are ready to be creative and not just have the, the, the task of being the ex executor, but also the creator. And I, I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to work with them right now because I feel like they're really prepared and ready for that. Two, three, and a four, and ah. One, two, three, four, good. Down, up, down. Now take your time. Um, don't rush. I think, it, I think that the unwinding should, should help you stabilize. I know this gets a bit dizzying, but this is to stabilize. Put your foot down, you know, do the rond de jambe from here to here and put your foot down so you're in a nice balanced fourth. Yeah, and this unwinds and then the head goes through. Yeah? I like dance that is really physical and yet it is still expressing something of the human condition. That it's not speaking only about its own kinesiology. I like to see something that tells me a story. I'm Here. very much a storyteller. So it's much more easy for you, in a way. And let the right hand go up. D, 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 um, bum. Keep it up in front of you, not behind you. Yeah. The underlying narrative, we could say it's the subtext. If not, if not the direct narrative, is, is a, a, a group of scientists who are traveling through space um, in search of a cure for a disease that has killed everyone on their planet. What is movement uh, in zero gravity? This, this sense that you're trying to keep yourselves going forward and things keep pulling you back and you keep going forward. That it's not, it's not an easy thing. In other words, it doesn't go here and then you just keep walking, but it's here and I'm fighting to get out of it, yeah? So there's this constant struggle to keep moving forward. Looks like you, you start to walk and then it gets really hard to walk. There's thickness and then it gets even harder to walk until you can't walk anymore. Without any stops, I don't understand where the beginnings are. So that's what I think about the stops, is that once you've come into this room, you find your thing, and then, then there are these waves and these rushes when all of you are moving and interconnecting, and it's great. They know themselves, and now they're ready to express that. And yet they haven't worked so long that they feel that they must keep the parameters of their, their own identity within a, a certain range. I think that they're still quite open. And for me, that's, that's the, the best for me. That's really been a pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate it very much.